is a big time musical. It's got a cast of over 30 and an orchestra of 15 and a production staff of about 15. And uh, it's an amazing uh, story of women's rights. Hello, New Orleans. Yes, thank you for coming out today, Miss Barisco. Well, we know what you all came to see. Caven has included actual headlines that he researched. It's, it's accurate, but it's art. This is definitely based on historical events. I'm immensely grateful that I get to honor someone who really was, was one of the forerunners in this movement, and I think that it is such a wonderful experience to get to bring this story to this community at this time with these people. It feels a little bit serendipitous. And these were stories that I felt like American women needed to know, but an artistic way of looking at it helps people get into possibly how these women felt. Even if you are doing you know, a work that has already been produced before, or a revival of something, um, you are you know, bringing yourself, you are bringing newness to the table, but to approach something completely new that no one has heard before is an honor. My vision is that it becomes something that is done in high schools and colleges with great parts for women. I feel like you and I was such a unique college experience. Every week I had one-on-one -on -one time with my voice teacher. I got to meet with a voice coach once a week. And then every opera director we had when I was here kind of took me under their wing. And I'm just excited to come back and kind of show everyone, you know, this is what you can do when you go to a place that cares about your individual development, gives you the skills to be a good team player, um, add in some hard work and a lot of luck. And, and you get me coming back singing Ida B. Wells four years after graduating from the master's program here.